Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress Astra theme series. In this video, we are going to customize the footer section of the Astra theme. In the previous video, I have shown you how to customize this header section in the Astra theme without using the Astra Pro. So we added the logo, the menu and other elements in the header section of the website. Now we are going to customize this footer section and we are not going to use the Astra Pro. In the upcoming videos, I'm going to show you how to use the Astra Pro. I'll show you what are the benefits of using Astra Pro plugin to customize the header and footer section of the Astra theme. So let's customize the footer section of the Astra theme. So here I'm already logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are using the free Astra theme on this website. So here you will see the option Astra. Click on it. It will open the Astra dashboard. This is the new Astra 4.0. Here you will see the quick settings section. In the previous videos, we used header builder to customize the header section. Now we are going to customize the footer section and this is the option footer builder. So click on footer builder. It comes with the free Astra theme. You do not need the Astra Pro. Here we are on the footer builder section. Currently we have this copyright section here. And here you will see this option. So we have three different layers here. The, this is the top section where we have two columns. This is the middle section we have where we have three columns. And this is the last section where we have the copyright section. So let's customize the copyright section first. Click on it. And here you will see the copyright. This is the copyright. So I'm going to change it. This is the code for the copyright symbol. This is the symbol. And this is the current year, you can see 2023 and this is the site title. The site title for this website is Astra. So that's why it's showing Astra here. Let me show you the site title here. You can go to settings and this is the site title. I'm going to change it. Let's change it to freelance, Param freelance. So it will pick up the site title and it will show the site title here. After that powered by this theme so i'm not going to use it so i'm going to delete that section so it will show copyright the symbol the year and the name or the title of the website all right now let's change the background color so i'm going to click on this option here for this section this is a single column so you, here you can see one column design go to design and this is the border Let's change the background color here. I'm going to use the black color. So you can see the back black color here. And for the text color, we are going to change to white. So we need to change the text color. So let's go to copyright section here and go to design. This is the font size and this is the text color. I'm going to change it to white. So here you will see the white text. So change. To change the text color, I have selected copyright this text box and I have changed the color of the text. So here at the top, we have two column section. So I'm going to select this section. And I want the layout two columns and this layout. So we have a right sidebar here. In this right sidebar, I'm going to use a say I'm going to use HTML1. Click on it. And here you can see, I can insert the text here. I'm going to put this HTML one in this big column. And you can use any text here. So this is the text that I'm going to use. Call us anytime for support. This is just a dummy text. You can use your own text here. I'm going to make it H2 heading. I want to change the background color of this section. So I'm going to use I have selected this section, go to design, background color, let's change it to blue and for this HTML one, I want to change the color, go to design, text color, change it to white. Okay, so this is not the text we need to change, let's go, change it to paragraph. Okay, so this is a paragraph and we have the text color white for the paragraph. 
Okay, now here I'm going to change the size. I'm going to make it big. All right, let's select this section again and let's add some padding. For the top, I'm going to add, let's unlink it for the top 30, or let's say 60 pixel and for the bottom 60 pixel. All right, now in this second column, you are going to add social media. So click on this plus sign and click on social. Right, so here you will see the social media icons. Select this one. These are the icons. If you click on it, you can enter the link here. All right, so this is the icon and we have added the link. Similarly, you can add the link to these icons also. Let's go to design and change the color to white. Icon size, change it to 30. Let's add some spacing between the icons. All right, so we have added three social media icons. Now, below this section, we have three column sections. So I'm going to select this one. Let's go to design. And first of all, we are going to change the background color. So let's use this dark color. And here I'm going to select widget one. Let's add some padding also for this section. Okay, for the widget one, if you click on it, you will see the option here that you can add to the widget one. So click on the plus sign and let's add a paragraph. And in the paragraph, I'm going to add the name of the website. Let's make it bold. Let's change it to heading h2 so here this is how it will look now below that you can add some paragraph and add some information about the business it is taking the color from the theme so i'm going to change the background color here and let's make it white again all right so in this column we have got some information about the business in the second column i'm going to select widget 2 and click on this so you will see the option to select and add the blocks in this element so i'm going to add the same menu so i'm going to add menu in this second column and name it as quick links select the menu as of now, we have only one menu, so I'm going to select that menu. So this is the quick link we have added here. Now in the third section, I'm going to use widget three. And if you click on this one, you will see the options to add in this widget. Click on the plus sign. Now let's add something different here, browse all. So you will see all the elements that you can add here. You can add gallery, you can add image. So I'm going to add a gallery and go to media library or you can upload the images here. As of now, I do not have many images. So I'm going to select these two images and it's going to create a gallery for using these two images. Let's click on the plus sign and let's browse all. Let's see what else we can add here. So let's do one thing instead of images we are going to add a video so i'm going to delete this one remove gallery and add a video okay so i'm going to insert from a url and i'm going to use one of my videos here so here i have pasted the url of the video and here you will see the video is there so we have got three different sections the first section is two column the second section is three columns and the last section is the copyright let's publish it let's go back to the website and refresh it and you will see the new footer here and we have three different sections let me go to the astra dashboard and here you will see the different pro models the astra pro models 
So if you have Astro Pro, you can use all these modules to customize your website, the header section, the footer section. So this is how you can customize the footer section of the Astro theme. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.